Hello everybody, welcome back to StickBot channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at some unused, scrapped, canceled, just videos in my phone that never saw the light of day. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Hello everybody, welcome back to StickBot channel. In today's video, I got some things in the mail. All right, so these, this is I assume a wallet and this uh, is magnets. Weirdly enough, this was small enough to fit in my mailbox, but this wasn't and they just put it in front of my door. I don't know and I don't care. But yeah, no, uh, they came the same day, which is the only reason you know about the wallet. But we are gonna be looking at magnets, preferably the size for stick bots. So let's open them up uh, and see, see what's inside of these. See what's inside of these things. It's really hot, but I can't have my fan on. I'm currently shirtless. Let's see. Oh, dude, these are puny. Wait, <laughs> Wait hold on, okay. Let me, let me, all right. Why are they so small? Okay, um, the next size up is the one that like clay has, right? Clay film. Don't you have the one that's the next size up? I got five by two millimeters. These might actually be too small. Now the goal with these is to not have to use stickbot suction cups uh, when animating, which is super useful. Um, zing, uh, not zing. The people who animate often use that method uh, or did. How do I open this? Oh, there's more tape. Um, and some animators in the community have even tried this method, and I'm going to be one of them. Let's let's open these up. All right, I'm gonna have to cut so much. All right, there we go. And they're open. It is just straight up a brick. Oh, these are fun. But also, I think too small. Let's see, first reaction, how strong are these? Decently strong. Uh... I feel like if I glue one to a stick bot and put one underneath the set. Here, well, you know what? I'm gonna do a little test. Uh, here we have a table prop I made a while ago. About the size of normal cardboard. We're gonna put one underneath, put one above, see if they connect, and they do. Ooh, that'd be actually really good for animating if you would like stick a prop to the magnet and you can move it around underneath the table. And I can put magnets on the legs of the tables. Um, just the, this is gonna be really useful for, for really useful for animating. So yeah, uh, I like that. That is fun. How good is the strength? Like how far do I have to pull? All right, so you can kind of get how. All right, cool, 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 cool. Tight, 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 tight. Uh, yeah, but then the thing is, I don't think they're a good size for stick bots though uh well right. Here, let's see get a close-up yeah actually i'm gonna go get some hot glue and i'll be right back i never recorded a second part of that video but uh those magnets work just fine i've been using them for well over a year now and um yeah they're pretty nice um if i can find the ones and the size i used i will link them in the description uh for you to buy if you want to pick some up yourself so clay wanted me to talk about Knockoffs, stickbot knockoffs. Well, back in the day when you know stickbots were like popular uh, on Amazon, it was extremely easy to find knockoff stickbots. Like, it, very easy, it, very common too. The point where around a long time ago, before I got really into stickbots, uh, my grandma got me like a bunch of them just um, for just cuz, and a bunch of them were knockoffs, right? She didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't care. But for example, this guy right here, this guy Cyrus. Uh, he is a knockoff. You kind of, you really can't tell that it's a knockoff stick bot. Like, there's really no way to, really no way to tell. And then another one, another one. The scrapped custom used to be Batman. Another knockoff came in the same exact pack. You know. And then this one right here. This one's easier to tell it's a knockoff because you can see the arm is all messed up here. Um, came in the same pack as those guys. And I'll let you guys in on a little secret. Goose is actually a knockoff. One way you can tell uh, is you can see here the arm hole. Uh, the torso got flipped, I guess, in production. Uh, so yeah, again, like I, there wasn't too much of a noticeable dip in quality to really, um, you know, tell knockoffs apart. So, you know, just thought it was interesting. I mean, they were obviously lower quality, but you couldn't really tell. And so the, it, it didn't matter if you had a couple knockoffs in your collection, at least to me. So context for that clip, a while ago, Clay was making a video, I can't remember which one it was, but when I find it, I'll put it on screen and I'll link it in the description. And in that video, he's talking about 
knockoff stick bots or something. So he asked me to record a segment about it because I got them by accident a while ago and they're really not that different from normal stick bots. So that was sort of the first take almost. So they want me to talk about knockoffs. Well, back in the day when stick bots were super popular, it was really easy to accidentally get knockoffs on like Amazon. See like this stick by here, you can't really tell, but it's actually a knockoff. One way to tell is like the, the plastic will be a little lower quality and the cups will look a lot like drier in a way. And some of them will have like big mistakes like this, uh, this old custom here. Uh, like you can see the arm is super messed up. And uh, I'll let you guys in on a little secret. Goose here is actually a knockoff. You can see because uh, the arm hole where the cord goes through was flipped and that must have been a mistake during production. They were of lower quality, but the dip in quality wasn't enough to really consider them too different from your regular stick bot and they were super easy to get by accident. And that was the more refined sort of second take on that whole thing. And that was the take the clay actually used in the video. Now, before we break into this thing, yet again, we have to admire the label. It's, this is my Discord username. I don't think it is right now. It might be anyway. Goose in real life. <laughs> oh man, that's priceless. And um, look, it has, a little, it has a little sticker. That's cool. Now let's uh, get into this. Make sure not to damage that Zing sticker. You know, it might be rare in five years. I honestly have zero clue what's in here. That's the worst part because they were super unclear about what you like would win. Hmm. So it comes with these two stick bots. I already have these, but it comes with this dark green insector, which is actually kind of cool. It's literally just this one, except with dark green plastic, which is pretty nifty um i don't know if this will be released in the future or if it's exclusive to this thingy i i don't know but if it is exclusive wow that's crazy if it's gonna be released in the future whoa i'm the first person that's that's so cool so um yeah no not much else to say like i said i already have these two guys but it, look at it's nice and christmas themed it's christmas monsters it's a, it's a cool theming very cool that was a very short video. I did not expect this to be that short. I don't know, you can compare these two. Okay, well, good night. All right, that was recorded uh, in December of 22. And that was when I won that Christmas art contest and I, was, I had no clue what I was gonna win. And then when I opened it, I remember I was disappointed, which is why I, I ended it so quickly and didn't talk about it. I didn't even realize at the time that all three of the stick bots were rare and exclusive. The the, the Red Goblin has long legs instead of the short legs, and that Giggles is very hard to find with the red printed eyes. I've talked about this before, but uh, I do find that just a, just a little silly how, how like, low-key butthurt I was about that. Buddy, uh, mail? I'm gonna open now. This came from Mercari, which I've been told by reputable sources is a great place to get stick bots. And there it is, the elusive black stick bot with red suction cups. The face is in pretty good condition. The cups also in good condition. Seems to have gone a few years in on him. Feels good, doesn't feel too dirty. He feels like one of my stick bots. Uh, yeah, the cups work. This one could just be messed up from the shipping. Uh, it looks official. Uh, it has the things on it. It does look a little faded. I, I don't have any red cups on stick pots, so. I'm gonna clean this and let you know why I got it. All right, so this guy's been thoroughly disinfected. Um, like I said, he didn't seem too dirty or anything. He felt like stick pots just already feel. Um, and I assume he's just been sitting in a drawer for the past 17 years. Uh, stick pots are 17, I'm joking. Uh, because I got this off some guy on Mercari. Um, I don't have any of these. I don't know when the last time they sold them was. So since I needed one, I figured, okay, where can I possibly get a black stick bot with red suction cups in 2023? Because, you know, eBay isn't an option. Oh, Mercari. So I checked and immediately there was a listing for this guy for like nine bucks plus shipping. It was like $13, which considering the rarity, I don't know. I just, I went for it. I didn't, I didn't care. Uh, and yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it, it is like nothing crazy for a lot of you guys, but you know, having him in person, I don't think this stick ball looks very good. 
the white face and the red suction cups the green cord and the black they just they don't mix in my opinion uh obviously i'm i don't care i've already bought it i'm not gonna like i like it i'm glad i have it it's just gonna go in my drawer until i'm ready to customize him but i needed a stick bot to be a villain for green stick bot i know green stick bot has a long history with black and gray stick bots apparently um for me and the boys i need a villain uh, and it's gonna be him and i want him to be a black stick butt with red suction cups uh and so that's why i need it and i looked for it and i found it in Yippee. yeah i don't know i'm probably not even gonna release this video what am i doing i think for that one i only recorded opening that because i was just used to op recording myself opening any stick bots i get i wasn't used to just getting one stick bot and then immediately after i opened it i was like i can't make a video out of this what am i doing and and then i i uh, ended I, I didn't release it i didn't I, there was no point i i did um i used that stick bot not for the character i wanted but for the homemade uh dominus custom I, I intended to dismantle that custom, but it grew on me, so I'll have to find a new black and red stick butt, I guess. Also, I was noticeably breathing through my nose in that clip for some reason. All right, this clip is interesting. There is no audio, but there are a couple points where I say things and I will unmute the audio when I do say things, but the background noise is just washing machine, so I wasn't gonna leave the background noise in. Anyway, this is me cutting the suction cups off of a stick butt for the first time. Should have heated it up first. I did this for a custom a while back. I think almost a year ago now. Uh, the suction cups are still sitting uh, on my desk, which is funny. I've, I've had no use for them. They're just, they're just sitting there. And I want, I don't know. I recorded myself doing this because it was a weird process. And I thought I would, I guess I thought I'd put in a video someday. Oh, this is weird. I've never done this before. And I mean, I did, I did put in a video someday. I honestly wait. This video. I love the Minecraft. And yeah. So this guy's fate has forever been sealed as the metallic madman. Okay, <coughs> okay, I think I'm done yapping now. Uh, in the video, I mean. And yeah, I sped it up here because it is it is pretty boring. I'm just cutting suction cups off a stick butt. Um, I mentioned earlier I should have heated it up. I think I meant like I should have put the cups in, or should have heated up the cups somehow. But um, I hope I didn't mean the knife because if I heated up the knife, that would have released fumes into my room. Yeah. Ooh, man, this is some riveting commentary. Oh, wow, wow, you just pulled the cup off the thing. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Man, this guy, this customizer dude, you got, if he ever gives you some customizing tips, you should listen, because he knows what he's doing. Look at him, look at this form. Look at this formation here. Mm. Oh, yeah, he's cooking. Let him cook, let him cook. Why did I record this? I set up my camera and everything. Can't bother recording myself customizing something, but, oh, cutting off cups, I can do. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Stickbot channel. In today's video, stick pets, specifically wave one. In 2016, I believe, Zing started a new line of stick bots, except they're not stick bots, they're stick pets. They're like the normal stick bot, except animals. What? I'm gonna, I'm not uploading this video. <sighs> Why are you over there, go over These, these were revolutionary. I don't think you understand. The the very concept of having, you know, a stick bot except an animal was crazy. It opens up a brand new possibility, a brand new range of possibility for your animations. Whereas previously, if you wanted to animate a video with a dog, you kind of couldn't do that. But now you can with the stick bot pets. The first mold we'll be taking a look at here is the basic stick dog. This is kind of a basic look. I already said basic, but it's, it's just a general look of, you know, a dog. The one thing I love about, why isn't it focusing? One thing I love about the Stickbot design team is, is design team is that they really know how to, you know, bring an animal and give it a unique spin. It doesn't look like a generic dog toy. It looks like a stick bot dog, and that's what I love so much about it. The dog's body is completely uniquely molded for the stick bot dog. As you can see here, it is nothing like the normal stick bot torso, and it was made specifically for the stick pets.
Along with that, the legs are brand new. They look like the StickBot forearm, except they have this sort of, uh, you know, indent in it so that you can do things like this. Revolutionary, guys. If, along with that, they had these tails on... What am I doing here? Now, what was going on there? That, that is... I, I Listen, a while ago, got this random motivation. I was like, what if I made a video going over, like, the history of a stickbot mold? Because, you know, it's really something we don't, like, have a complete overview of a stickbot's mold. And it's almost as history, even. I still think that's a good idea. But my execution was horrendous. No planning whatsoever went into that. I made that on a whim. I was like, I got out some stick pets, got my phone out, and I just went, all right, let's 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 let's, let's cook something up. But I didn't cook anything. I just I just burn it. I burn it all to the ground, and it was really bad. It's been sitting in my phone as a painful reminder of that that one time I thought I had a good idea and and I and I messed it up. But yeah, those are all of these scrapped unused recordings that I have in my phone. Not all of them, but the ones for this video today. Let me know if you would have wanted to see any of those expanded upon to some degree. I do kind of still like the stick pet idea. It just needs maybe like a script or, you know, any amount of effort other than what I did there. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in joining my Discord server or following any of my socials, those links will, of course, be in the description. Make sure you use creator code Goose Hamlin in the Fortnite item shop. Keep on hunting my Goose Sandwiches, and I'll see y'all later. Peace out.